hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will create our zombie wave system in the zombie wave system first of all we will assign all of the zombie prefabs and then we will choose uh, the spawn points in our environment okay we will create them and then attach them to our zombie wave system and then after every wave we will spawn a number of zombies in our environment so that the player can kill the zombies okay we will add the wave limiter as well for example we will have a number of uh, four or five waves and then we will set a timer for each of the wave and then how many zombies will be spawned in each of the wave okay now if we double click on our zombie 2 and change into the scene view okay as you can see now for now we have two types of zombies okay we need to add our other two zombies as well which is this one and then the last one okay so let's add this third zombie for example right here a little bit away from the other ones and what we're gonna do with this one is first of all we need to click on prefab unpack completely let's name this as zombie 3 okay and then what we will do with this is move it up here then click on zombie 1 copy the whole zombie AI component paste it on zombie 3 click on these three dots click paste and then component as new okay now right here uh, we need to add the nav mesh agent for this zombie and the animator so what i will do i will actually remove this zombie 3 and 4 animator all right i will simply delete it then duplicate the zombie 1 animator and rename this to zombie 3 okay then click on zombie 3 and drag and drop this okay when you attach the animator then drag and drop it inside the animator reference and the reason i duplicate this is this animator is already set up okay now once we add the animator let's add the nav mesh agent as well drag and drop the nav mesh agent reference in there and we need to change the speed of this to 0 0.5 as our zombie one so change it to 0 0.5 and then everything else will be the same but we just need to copy the capsule collider from here so copy component click on zombie 3 right here click on paste component as new now if you turn on the gizmos as you can see everything is set up from the components till the scripts okay so we have basically copy and pasted that, that zombie right here but the zombie body and appearance is changed now we will add our fourth zombie for example right here okay and let's click on prefab unpack completely name this as zombie 4 simply drag and drop it right there then what we can do we will now duplicate the zombie 2 animator okay which is uh, this walk chase attack and dead okay not zombie 1 or zombie 3 but zombie 2 alright so don't get confused in it so I will simply duplicate it and then rename it to zombie 4 click on zombie 4 and drag and drop it add the nav mesh agent let me click on scene view now let's click on zombie 2 drag I mean copy the component okay the script component click on zombie 4 right here click on paste component as new let me move the script up here all right drag and drop the animator then the nav mesh agent that's all then click on zombie 2 click on copy component okay this capsule collider and then paste that capsule collider right here that is all for this zombie as well okay now if we play the game As you can see, the zombies are 
walking and doing everything which we set to the zombie to do okay as you can see this one is in the idle and that one is walking to random points as you can see okay this one is moving as well if you click on it the zombie too as you can see the zombie is moving to that point and this zombie 4 is moving to somewhere right here as you can see this red line okay so it means that we have now uh, four types of zombies and we are ready to add our zombie wave system for that in our scripts folder if we go inside the zombie ai right here let's create a new c sharp script by the name of zombie wave system then after creating a script let's create a new game app object imt game object name this as spawner let's move it up there and drag and drop the script to it okay then let's let's create uh, another game object okay first of all move to the ground like this so that it is created on the ground okay as you can see it is a little bit below the ground but you can move it to the ground like this okay as you can see it is now on the ground and what we will name this as spawn points okay let's move the spawn points up there now in the spawn points create empty game object name it as one and you can also tag it as well okay where is it right here if we turn on the gizmos here it is okay on the surface so now let me turn off the gizmos and this will be our first spawn point okay right here we will spawn the zombies let me move it a little bit right here then after this we will duplicate this name it as two and then let's move our second spawn point for example right there okay then let's duplicate it our third spawn point will be right here then we can duplicate this move it right there for example let's double click on it okay move it right here name this as four duplicate it and move it right whoops okay so select the fifth point name is as five and move it right here for example so this will be our spawn points okay now let's double click on the spawner we have attached the zombie wave system to that and now let's click on the zombies folder in here create a new folder by the name of prefabs and in the prefabs let's create a prefab of all of these four zombies so we can just simply drag and drop it inside the folder like this so two three and four that's it now if you double click on this zombie 2 as you can see when it opened this zombie 2 right here the player reference is missing because now this zombie 2 is a prefab okay and as you know the player is in the hierarchy so whenever we instantiate or you can say when we spawn this zombie 2 or either this zombie 4 okay which is also a waypoint zombie so the player reference will be missing and we don't want that because it will show errors that this reference is missing so 
in order to fix this what we're gonna do we will attach the player automatically once the zombie is spawned in the environment okay so let me tell you how we will do that if you open up the waypoint zombie ai script right here we have this player so now in the start method what we will do is we will find the player game object with the desired tag okay and if you see the player the player tag is by the name of player so what we can do right here is we will say game object then we will say player object this will be equals to game object dot find with tag and the tag is as you know player okay then we will say if the player object is not equals to null okay if it is not null then what we want we will set the player reference okay this player reference to the player object dot transform okay and if it is null then we will say debug.log and in here we will say that player object not found okay that is all so now whenever we will spawn this zombie the player game object will be automatically assigned okay and it will not show any errors so make sure that you do this step okay don't miss it and also make sure that you spell this correctly okay the t the w and f in this find with tag is capital that is all okay so right here if we double click on it still it will be not assigned but when we spawn this zombie it will be then assigned automatically okay for example if we drag and drop this zombie right here for you can see right here that the player is null but then if we start the game okay you will notice that it will be assigned automatically as you can see okay so this was a what i was talking about so now we are ready for our zombie wave system script and in the next video we will do that